friends, it's Jessie here. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. For today's video, we are going to do a haul of all things unbudgeted. I went shopping today without a budget, without a plan. I had to pick up a few things for my son, both for back to school, because we got a back to school list, as well as for soccer, because he's going to be playing soccer this season. It was unexpected. They just formed a soccer club for his school. Previously, he would not have been able to play until his freshman year of high school, but they just finally started a club for 7th and 8th graders. So he's going to get to play, but it was a really spur-of-the-moment thing, something that I wasn't necessarily planning for. So all of this on the table here is unbudgeted. Now, technically, we do have sinking funds for school, and um, that school sinking fund also typically would cover any activities or sports. But I didn't look and see how much money we had in those sinking funds. I know it's not a lot. Um, but this is all stuff he had to have, right? So I'm going to have to figure out in my budget how we're going to pay for all of these things. Um, I haven't, I have to sit down and do that. You guys will likely see that in a separate video. But for today, I just thought... Um, I would share the few things that we picked up. I haven't done a little haul in a while, so keep in mind this is for soccer and back to school. So we got an email from Austin's geometry teacher. Austin is in advanced math. He is, I believe, technically two grades ahead in math, so he will be taking a geometry class at the high school even though he's only an eighth grader so she emailed us with a list of things that he needed and I have those items here so he needed some loose leaf paper previously we did do a little back to school haul which I will put in a card above but we just picked up some basic things because we didn't have a full-on list yet this is more of the targeted items he needed so college ruled loose leaf paper he needed a pair of scissors, as well as a compass and a protractor, um, a composition book. He always likes to use red for anything to do with math, um, so he got the composition book. And a folder that she requested that he have. Um, she also said that he needed glue sticks, colored pencils, and a ruler. The other thing that she recommended, well, she said it wasn't completely necessary, it was kind of optional, it was a TI-84 graphing calculator, but those things are like $100, and they do have a set that he can use in the classroom, so I opted not to get him that. Um, he also has a Chromebook that he uses for school that has a calculator on it as well, so we decided against getting that, because that's a big, hefty price tag, and we already were spending outside of the budget. So that was it in terms of school supplies. The rest of this is for soccer season. He picked out some beef jerky to have in his bag for snacks, for practice. Also, um, some hair ties. Austin has very long hair. Um, not quite as long as I think he wants it. He wants to grow it out even longer, but it's long. It gets in his face, so I got him these to pull his hair back during practice. Some Gatorades. He chose the... Uh, Glacier Freeze flavor, and then this flavor he had never tried before, so he wanted to give this a shot. He actually opened this in the car. It's the strawberry watermelon flavor. He said it's pretty good. Um, he has a little port that he needs to cover for soccer practice. Um, if you're not familiar, Austin has a medical condition that um, he manages through a little sacostomy tube, so this Tegaderm patch is to go over his port when he's playing soccer just so it doesn't get pulled out. Um, so we picked up a couple of those. Then he wanted to get a nice big water container for the super hot practices. His first practice is tomorrow and it's supposed to be 95 degrees. So water is very important. This came from Dunham's. That's where we got all of the like sports equipment because we don't have a lot of options in our area for sporting goods. So picked up that. We also grabbed him a soccer ball. We do have a soccer ball already but it's up at our camper and he wanted to have a ball to take to practice so we picked up another one could never have too many um he needed some soccer socks robbie played soccer previously but a lot of his stuff um, doesn't fit austin austin's quite a bit bigger than robbie was at this age so we had to buy quite a few new things so we got him two pair of like navy blue and two pair of black so he's all stocked up there 
These are the soccer cleats he picked out. They are by Nike. They're really nice looking. Um, he loves this like royal blue color and they fit him really well. So those were the ones he picked up and those were on sale, thankfully. So a little bit less expensive than they would have been otherwise. The other thing we picked up for him is a gym bag. Again, it's got that kind of royal blue color he likes so much. Just so that he can take all of his stuff back and forth to practice. The only thing we were not able to get was shin guards. They didn't have any shin guards in his size. Um, Austin's really tall for his age, so they had a lot of like youth stuff, but he definitely needs men's sizes for everything. And they were pretty much sold out of everything. Obviously, everyone else in the area is stocking up for soccer season as well. So we're going to have to go to a different sporting goods store probably tonight to, to try to find him some shin guards before practice tomorrow. Wish us luck. Um, so that is it. And then the only other thing I picked up was the purified drinking water. So all together, it was like $215 that I did not account for. So I definitely need to go into my sinking funds figure out what I have and what I'm going to be kind of in the hole for and figure out where that money's going to come from to pay for everything. As I mentioned, you will likely see that in an upcoming budget video where I talk more about it. But for now, he had to have these things, you know, kids are expensive. So that's going to do it. I hope you guys didn't mind a shorter video today and something a little bit different. I'm trying to film more lifestyle type content like this and vlogging a little bit here and there so be on the lookout for some vlogs coming soon hopefully um so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up that really helps out my channel my views have been down lately so i would appreciate the support thank you all so much and i will see you in my next video bye friends